Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to the new show, The OTT, over at Geekazine.com. Let's get right into The OTT. We're going to be talking about what The OTT is and how you can make your own set-top box. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here, www.geekazine.com, 608-205-4378 is my phone number, geekazine at gmail.com is the email address, if you'd like to email, if you'd like to call in, you want to check me out, go over on Twitter, go to Geekazine, I'm on Twitter that way, and uh, we've got a lot of great stuff, we've got the weekly podcast, we've got the day in tech history, we've got the five tech things, and now the OTT, the newest show in the library here. What is the OTT, you're asking? Well, straightforward. OTT stands for over-the-top television. It's the newest way to get video content like this show on your computer, on your TV, your big LCD, your big LED TV. You can get tons of content and lots of great stuff. Um, there are many different channels. There are many different stations. You've got Revision 3. You've got the Twit Network. You've got Tech Podcast Network. You've got Crackle. You've got My Damn Channel. You've got the ProMen Network. You've got there's hundreds of different ways you can get content. Hulu Plus. Uh, you can get Netflix. You can get Amazon Video all through a set-top box, all through a program that will get you there. Now, what this show is going to do is we're going to be talking to industry professionals. We're going to be talking to people that create content. We're going to be talking to everybody and anybody that wants to just call up and talk to me, do it over a Skype session. What we'll also be doing is doing training sessions, like, for instance, this video right here. We're going to be doing a training session over an actual interview here. So you'll get to learn a little bit more about it. And then, of course, we're going to do a little bit of news. So you'll find out what's going on in the over-the-top TV space, especially when it starts to get into uh, uh, the direct the rights that you have to download all this content. Uh, if internet service providers start uh, doing bandwidth caps, for example, how that's going to affect you, how Apple and, and iTunes is only on Apple TV, and now they're kind of fading out podcasts in a way by taking out pings, things like that. Just a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to encompass anything and everything that deals with set-top boxes, that deals with over-the-top television, IPTV, and, of course, the content that's created on all of these ways. Now, without any further ado, we're going to talk about one of the things that you can do if you don't have a set-top box. Technically, you do. You have your computer, and you can turn that into a set-top box. And I'm going to show you how to do this. It's a program that's called Boxy. B-O-X-E-E -E dot TV. That's B-O-X-E-E -E dot TV, and that's going to get you there. If you go to Boxy.com, it actually goes to a mail portal, which you'll get confused. However, if you go to Boxy dot TV, you'll be able to get in here, and you'll find out a little bit more about Boxy. I'm going to reload this page because they, they show a really cool video at the top here. Now they're showing all these little game systems and everything like that. They're going to take it away, and there's your little Boxy. Now... The cool thing about Boxy is they let you create your own box. You can purchase this little box right here for $249. Or you can make yourself a Boxy. So you choose on the Make Yourself a Boxy. And, of course, it's going to show you a really cool little uh, video there on how you, can, uh, how you can make your own little Boxy on a PC or on a Mac or on a Linux system, for that matter. So basically what you do is you gather hardware, you download and install Boxy, and then you add the services that you want. We'll do Gather Hardware. Um, they basically show you different uh, types of boxes that you can use. You can actually use your computer if it's got enough power to it. You, if you have a DVI port or an HDMI port, it's even a bonus right there. And then, of course, you can get the iPhone app. The Boxy iPhone app will let you download, uh, download a remote that you can, and I'm going to pull this up really quick and, and get you to see this remote. You won't see too much because I'm not, I don't have Boxy up. But that's the Boxy remote on your iPhone. This is the 3GS RF4. It's not going to find any remote on my network, but it's going to be searching. And, of course, it can't find it. We will get to that in a second here. But what you want to do is uh, you basically make sure that you have enough power into your machine that you can run Boxy without having it lag 
by any means. So check out all the requirements, all the hardware. Of course, that's going to change as the uh, as the versions come up, as we come up with new standards. Right now, we're getting into H.264. Google wants to get in what's called VP8. And those standards, as they change, as we make better looking videos for the web, they're going to increase. And of course, that means that you might need a better machine, a faster processor, more memory, whatever that means. But right now, um, a standard machine, if you've, if you've got a computer that's about two years old and you have uh, enough, uh, just enough RAM in there, let's say about two gigs, you should be fine. One to two gigs, you should be fine. So, And of course, when you run Boxy, you want to make sure all your other programs on your computer, and you can't see that, I thought that would pop up, all your other programs are closed. That way, you can optimize your PC's performance of the video um, and uh, go from there. And once again, like I said, it could be a PC, it could be a Mac, it could be a Linux box. This is uh, how Boxy works here. So anyway, you go in, you uh, download and install the Boxy applications, and then you can install the services from there. Now, I don't, I don't do it on this main machine, but I do have on my laptop, I do have the Boxy app, and we are going to pull the Boxy app up right now. And you probably just heard the little boop, 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 boop type uh, sound. Uh, that's, I think that's Skype. Anyway, <laughs> and if, as you can see, this is the most current version of Boxy for the, uh, for the PC. Um, and as you can see, it's, it shows up pretty straightforward. You can choose your TV shows. You can choose applications, movies, music, photos. It pulls the information, uh, any information that you have on your computer. Like, for instance, if I go to music... Um, it's going to find uh, some of the artists on here, some podcasts. Uh, there's there's me, and, and I don't know if that's my music or that's my podcast, but uh, Cross Canadian Ragweed. And, of course, you can tell it, hey, I want you to search for more artists, which I haven't had uh, Boxy do um, as of late. So, But you can choose movies, music, photos, anything that's on your computer, on your network. It can pull that down and go from there. What you want to do, though, if you want to get uh, the TV channels over the internet, here's the the apps is where you want to go. Now, as you can see, I have my list of apps in the app library, and then of course you have the app location library where you can go in and you can check out all the cool stuff that Boxy has to offer. Like for instance, Pandora, Netflix. Now, this is not what they have to offer. It's what other companies have created and made a boxy application for. And you have YouTube, Voodoo, um, you can get Revision 3, there's Twit, Funny or Die, the NHL Network, yes, you can actually watch hockey games on your boxy. Um, these are more likely a pay site, so you go in and you, you purchase an account and then you pair the account with the boxy. And then you're able to watch uh, hockey all year round. So we have all this. We got a lot of gr a lot of free stuff and uh, some paid content there. As you can see, tech podcasts. Of course, we are a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. And uh, and a lot more as we go down here. One of the things, if as we go down, hopefully we'll find it in enough time here. As they're loading some more as we go down, is you will see. One of, the th one of the channels that I did right here, it's the five tech things you should know about. This is one of my channels. And, of course, it's actually fairly straightforward to create a channel. If you know how to do XML, this, uh, you should be able to put together a channel. You then go to Boxy and, and say, hey, I want you to approve it. And then they approve it, and, of course, it becomes a channel. Now, you can also create XML channels into your PC and put them into a folder, and then go into Boxy, and of course those channels will show up for you. So let's say you don't want Revision 3, but you want uh, Callie Luce's GeekBeat.TV, or you want the Ben Heck Show or something like that. You can go in and you can take those specific feed inf uh, information, uh, put it into XML, put it into the folder, and then when you call up Boxy, uh, you'll have to do a little bit of playing around to get that so the latest episodes load up. But then you can create your own channels, your own stations, so you can uh, have the content there. But, of course, I have a lot of great content in here. Of course, Tech Podcast right there. There's my show, The Five Tech Things. And if I click on it, 
it says, hey, I want, do you want to start it? And I say, yeah. So I start it up, and it comes up the five tech things you should know. The latest episode of the five tech things you should know is uh, episode number 72, so I'm going to play that. And I don't know what the volume is going to be like, so bear with me a little bit here as I play. Ladies and gentlemen, don't start a riot. The five tech things are back again. Episode number six. And that's, that's my show right now, right there. Now, I can control, as you can see, I've got full mouse control. And I also have the control of the iPhone application. Now I'm going to pull up the iPhone application. This time I'm going to say search for hosts. And it's going to search. And this time it's actually going to find a host. And when it finds a host, the remote control as you can see, goes like that. Now I'm going to go over to this screen, and we're going to see a little bit of me um, as uh, this, that's a special screen. So I'm just going to hit the play button here. 72, and but we got course, one question. See, it what just the heck is Bill Gates? Video. I'm going to hit it again, and of course it's pausing it. I can change the volume. I can, uh, I can do a few different things on here. I can even change it over to gesture. And with gesture, I can say play. Again, warriors in tech. That Back up for me. What the heck is Bill Pause. Gates doing with his money? Uh, pause is not working. <laughs> Let's do that again. Pause. There it goes. And of course, back back in there. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the five the tech buttons. things that you should know about. Stop. And of course, it stops that and goes from there. Sorry about that. It's just you can't. When you don't see it and, and you control it, that... <laughs> sometimes it, it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, anyway, this is all on my laptop, and this laptop is a Pentium uh, PC, about a year and a half old. It's running Windows 7, 64-bit. Um, it's got about two gigabytes worth of memory on it. It's the uh, G60 by HP, and uh, I could basically come in here. I could go to the apps, and then I could go in and did I put Netflix on here? Yes, there's my Netflix. It might not be paired with my with my account. Yeah, it's got to download the Netflix application, and it's installing it. Comes up here. I what you mainly have to do is you have to go to the website, Netflix's website, and then you go and and when you go in the box, you'll see it. It'll tell you you must pair with the website to say that that this is your boxy account and so on and so forth. So other people don't use your account. Uh, illegally. So now this is my instant queue. Uh, of course, I got a couple. I got uh, Chicago and Cold Souls, which were a couple that uh, movies that I, I, I've been meaning to watch. I can go through the recommendations. I can go through the new arrivals. And of course, I can browse and search, which is, is great. And in fact, if you, if you look at the boxy version as opposed to the Roku version, the Netflix, Netflix is a lot more user-friendly. So if I wanted to play This American Life, I just choose that. And then I can choose one of the episodes. And then I can choose to play. And then, of course, it's going to play. going to download connect to the Netflix and download and then of course it's going to play we, we don't need to see this whole thing so we'll just hit uh, escape and uh, closing out I think it's loading up the video I suppose I better stop it <laughs> there we go <laughs> stopped it using the remote control so now I can go in here and I can back out of Netflix I can go back to my apps and then of course all I have to do is go up here and choose log out and I can log out into there. Now if you have a, uh, a PC that's not, the video's not running that great, you can always go into the settings and you can always change how the settings uh, go through. You can fix the audio hardware, you can uh, fix the video. I think uh, in, inside each of the videos, when you go into a video, you can go up to the settings and say, hey, uh, things aren't matching up. The vocals aren't matching up with the lips. Um, so latency is a little bit off, so I want to fix that, and it will do that for you. So you've got a lot of different options here. As you can see, you can uh, you can choose your media, how you want it to look. So you, uh, I have this background 
this uh, space background. But if I wanted to, I could go in and I could change the settings to make it look like something else. Uh, uh, different screens, different screen savers, uh, languages, um, different sounds, different images. So there's a lot of different customizations there. And of course, parental controls. This is, uh, of course, a big key for a lot of a lot of uh, people that don't want their kids to get into some of the content that's questionable because, you know, there is some mature content out there onto the Internet, as we all know. And that this is where we would go to uh, to set those controls. So anyway, we back out, and I'm just hitting escape here to back out. I hit the escape, and of course that brings up the menu, and then I can go in here, I can look at my queue, but then I can log out, and I can say I can suspend the machine, exit boxy, or change change the user. If you have an account and your wife has an account or your kids have an account, then you can change the user from there. I'm just going to say exit boxy, and of course it's going to go back to my screen, which is a big mess, and you saw a little bit of that. <laughs> so, And that's pretty much it. That is how you make your own set-top box and get into the over-the-top TV revolution. Now, there are other options, of course. You can buy the Boxy box, which right now is about $249. They're, the cheapest box is the, uh, is the Roku at $60. And uh, get, the, get the $100 version of the Roku. It's, it's best, and it has, it has a USB drive, and you can do a little bit of wireless. Uh, and and it, it's just it's better, and it's worth the extra $40. So, and of course, you have Apple TV. That's also a hundred dollars, and Google TV, which is the most expensive of the lot. There's a lot of other over-the-top television set-top boxes. Other ways to connect using over-the-top television, using application TV. Excuse me. Like for instance, your Blu-ray player can do Netflix. Your Blu-ray player can do Vudu, Picasa, and and Facebook, and all that other stuff. These are the things that we're going to be talking about on the OTT. And that is uh, the crux of the show. I hope you liked it. My name is Jeffrey Powers. If you do have any questions, once again, 608-205-4378 or geekazine at gmail.com. If you want to be a guest on Geekazine, feel free to email me or go over to Twitter and say at Geekazine. And that will get you to me and we'll get you on the show. And we can talk about anything. If you, want, if you just want to talk about the news, if you're an enthusiast especially, and you just want to talk news with me and talk about over-the-top television, we'll definitely make episodes on that. So until next time, uh, we will be, for the first week, of course, we're playing the first five episodes of Over the Top TV. These were episodes we recorded pilot about a month and a half ago. So we've got, uh, we had Alec Marshall was the, on the first episode. We have Zach Larson coming up and then of course john myers from the blue buffalo group lots of great videos coming on up and coming your way on the ott thanks a lot for watching and uh we will see you next time on the ott my name is jeffrey powers take care